Hello there everyone and welcome back to Love the Grind. My name is Michael Preeby and my website is www.lovelygrind.com. It's where you're going to find blog posts about spiritual growth, professional fulfillment, and a balanced approach to total health. Welcome back to the series of YouTube videos that I'm doing about prescription drug withdrawal and surviving that withdrawal. For those of you who haven't seen my videos previously, my withdrawal story involves Paxil, an SSRI antidepressant, and Xanax, a benzodiazepine tranquilizer. Those are medications that I was prescribed as a 21-year-old college student for some social anxiety and panic attacks. And rather than drop out of school, I began taking those medications and they became a part of my life really for the next 14 years until I decided around my mid-30s it was time to get off them once and for all. And when I got off of them, I thought things would get better pretty quickly. But as those of you out there who are going through withdrawal know, that isn't always the case. Rather than things improving right away, um, I was hit by body pains and mental symptoms, uh, flu-like symptoms, sleeplessness, and a lot of emotional turmoil. These were things I really didn't see coming and they felt like they were never gonna get better for a while, but they indeed did get better. And as I moved further along my own healing timeline, I saw improvements that I wouldn't have even thought possible, you know, just a few months before I saw the improvements. So bottom line, I saw improvements, I saw healing. If you're out there going through withdrawal, you're going to see those things happen for you as well. If you keep a positive attitude and keep faithful in the process, believe in it, believe in yourself and keep taking care of yourself in the right way, things will get better. Now, the topic of today's video is anger. You know, I get a lot of people talking to me online or leaving me messages and talking about the problems they have with anger in the withdrawal. And it's something that I really experienced as well. Why is there so much anger in withdrawal? I didn't even know I was experiencing so much anger until one day my mother said to me, you seem very angry. And this was after I'd already been off of the medications for a while. And I started thinking about it and I thought to myself, you know what, I am very angry. Sometimes it was just kind of angry at my situation. Sometimes it was an organic sort of rage inside of me. And I'm not, uh, you know, an off the handle sort of person. People would usually describe me as a calm sort of person someone who can handle uh, stress and be kind of the voice of reason in a situation. But when withdrawal hit me, part of my emotional turmoil certainly was anger. So why is there that anger? I've been thinking about that lately, um, and I really think it's twofold. When I talk to people, whether it's in coaching sessions or whether it's uh, through email or online messages on this YouTube channel, um, people ask about depression and anxiety and anger. And I really think those sorts of emotional challenges are twofold for us. I think part of it is organic during withdrawal. It's a really uh, physical thing that's just sitting with us and it's going to sit there for a while until those receptors upregulate and our body and mind reorganize themselves into the proper order. So just like there's that depression that comes over nowhere and that anxiety that isn't necessarily tied to a social function or some other traditional sort of activity that would cause anxiety. I think there's also anger, a sort of organic anger that's there in withdrawal for no reason. You feel these surges of rage sometimes, and it's just something that will pass with time, just like the anxiety, just like the, de like the depression. Um, but I think there's also another sort of anger that comes with withdrawal, um, and I think it's anger at the situation, anger at the doctors. Uh, for putting us on these medications without much warning, maybe without any warning about withdrawal. I know I didn't have any warning about withdrawal. Um, I barely knew what it was when I began experiencing it. And when I went to the doctors, they said it was something that should have been over in two weeks, you know, not two months or two years. Uh, so I was angry. I was angry at those doctors. I was angry at the big pharma companies for sure. Angry that they were just, uh, moving along without any consequences on a daily basis. The lines at CVS and Walmart and Walgreens and the online deliveries, they just keep building every day. Um, the amount of people prescribed these medications just keeps growing every day. And if someone begins experiencing withdrawal, they're just told, well, take another medication, that'll fix it. Instead of having a doctor talk to them about a real solution. And all the while, um, the big pharmaceutical companies have representatives that are going into the doctor's offices and giving out free samples and just keeping that whole well-oiled money-making machine operating with impunity. So I was angry about that. Still am angry about those things. 
Um, I was angry even at my family members. You know, how, how could my parents have let this happen when I came to them for counsel? Why did they let me go to this family doctor? Why did they let me get on these medications? Um, I was angry at myself. How could I have let myself continue taking these medications for 14 years? How could I have let the Xanax go from 0.25 milligrams as needed up to four or five or six or sometimes even more milligrams on a daily basis? How could I have become so irresponsible? How could I have lost my way so profoundly? Um, those are the sorts of questions that go through our minds as we're going through this process of dealing with the anger that comes up during the withdrawal and healing scenario. So if you're out there feeling anger right now, uh, don't feel ashamed about it. Don't feel bad about it. Uh, it's natural. It's something that will pass. And it's something that's even healthy, I think. I used some of that anger. See, that's the important thing. You have to find ways to harness it. If you're angry at the doctors, you're angry at Big Pharma, you're angry at yourself for being duped by these people, whatever it is, use that. Harness that anger into motivation to get healthy, uh, to prove these people you don't need them ever again in your life, um, to prove that you're going to take control of your best health, to prove that you're not going to be a pawn in their game anymore. Um, and the rest of that anger, as far as being angry at yourself, angry at family members, or whatever you're going through there, work through that. Um, forgive people. Understand where people um, were in that process, including yourself. When we started taking these meds, we were hurting, and we just wanted to find relief, and our family members just wanted to find a way to help us. Um, so do some forgiving and move on from it. Don't let it consume you. That's the important thing. Find ways to use it, accept it, but don't let it consume you and begin looking forward rather than backwards. So if you're experiencing that anger that comes with withdrawal right now, uh, don't feel bad about it. Process it and then find a way to harness it. Find a way to use it to make your life better and better because you will be able to do that. If you become more determined with each and every day um, to get further and further away from these medications, to get healthier than you've ever been, set goals that you want to work toward, to get more spiritual on a deep personal level, more spiritual than you've ever been. If you take care of yourself in all those important ways, the ways that don't require a doctor, your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health, for the most part, you can take care of 90% of that without ever stepping into a doctor's office. Um, if you can find ways to take care of yourself and find other avenues of meaningful support for all of those areas of well-being, then you're going to be better off than you ever were. You're going to be healthier, than you ever were before you start taking the meds or while you're on them. Trust me, just keep believing in the healing process. Keep doing those right things for yourself. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please message me with questions and comments. You can also go to my website, lovelygrind.com. Sign up for that mailing list. I send out a monthly newsletter that I think you'll enjoy. Uh, also, you can go to Facebook at Lovely Grind or Twitter at Lovely Grind. I've also begun offering some coaching sessions via Skype, WhatsApp, or telephone for people going through the taper or withdrawal process. So that's an avenue of support that I believe is crucial and very helpful for people in this scenario. And if you'd like more information about it, uh, please message me and I'll send you some information and I would really look forward to talking with you further. My name is Michael Preby. My website's lovelygrind.com. Until next time, please remember to take care of yourself and your dreams.